We'll talk about starting things off with a bang. Here's Darth Tigger's Totally Buyers Review number two, two in one week. And we're going to go see Mission Impossible Rogue Nation. Now, expectations going into this. Um, I've seen all the ones before, and they're pretty much a, a wild ride from start to finish. They're a romp. Uh, they tend to have pretty slow plot, but fairly intricate um, uh, action sequences and fairly inter intricate um, espionage type uh, stuff. But really on, on a very, very thin, let's go get the bad guy kind of a thing. Um, acting, it's Tom Cruise, it's Ving Rhames. I like Ving Rhames, uh, Simon Pegg, Jeremy Renner. Um, so, you know, I mean, we pretty much know what to expect from the acting here. So, I'll let you know what I think on the way out. So, I've said it before, and I'll say it again. If you walk into something expecting one thing, and you don't get it, you're not going to like it. But, if you walk into it expecting something, and you get what you're expecting, then you're going to have a good time, no matter what it is. In this case, I walked into it expecting... Um, a lot of action, a little bit of plot, um, maybe a good-looking girl or two, and um, even maybe a little bit of funny from uh, from Simon Pegg. And that's pretty much exactly what I got. The, the plot was basically, uh, there's a bad guy and we've got to get him. Uh, and uh, just to amp things up a little bit, uh, we're going to... We're going to do it without any uh, help from anybody whatsoever. And we're going to win in the end. It's a, it's a feel-good movie, and we're going to fight a lot of people in the middle, and that's pretty much all we're going to get. Um, acting, um, Tom Cruise was Tom Cruise. You know, so if you like him, you'll like him. If you don't like him, you're not going to like him. Um, Ving Rhames had a pretty, uh, had an okay role. Simon Pegg had a pretty good role in this. There was a new girl uh, in it who did a really good job. The villain in this, I thought, did a really, really good job. Um, not, you know, not a huge uh, part, but really good job. Um, there was nothing that broke me out of the story, and I've told you this before, if, if things break me out of the story, I'm just not gonna like them at all. Um, the, like I said, the, the plot was just enough to hold up the action, which is kind of what you're expecting. It was absolutely a roller coaster ride. There was some good special effects. There was a lot of good stunts. Was it worth the money? Yeah, I think I think it was worth the money for what you're uh, what you're looking for. Um, would I go see it again? Uh, I probably wouldn't go see it again at the theaters, but I might actually own it someday. So, you know. I guess that tells you what you need to know. So from, from my point of view, absolutely, it was worth it. So there's my totally biased review. But like I said, you guys know I like these, uh, I like these action um, uh, thriller kind of things. It, it kind of reminded me a lot of the old uh, James Bond, well, the old Mission Impossibles, right? I mean, that's what they were going for, and that's what they got. So thanks for tuning in, guys, and we'll see you on the next uh, Darth Tigger's Totally Biased Review.